meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Yes, indeed. We've got ourselves a Friday on our hands. TGIF. I love it as we head into the weekend. I wish I could say every day, or at least both days over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, are going to look like today with all that sunshine and temperatures. I mean, warm enough for January because it's not all that windy. But here's the problem. Tomorrow, clouds are going to roll in really later on tonight, but after we can see the full moon. That's a great thing because I've got some shots I'm going to show you here in a second of that full wolf moon. It was full last night, but believe me, the night before, the night after, it's still full enough and it still looks beautiful enough. So it should be a very impressive sight in the evening sky before the clouds start to roll on in. We might have a few high clouds, but sometimes that makes it even cooler uh, with that full moon out there. So We've got that. That's going to be rising not long after the sun goes down. And the sun is going to be setting at 510 Evansville time. So not long after that, you, you see, check out the sunset. And it should be a pretty good one, too, uh, to the west. And turn, do a 180, and then look out toward the east. And not long after that, you should be able to see that full moon pop its head above the horizon. And it always looks more impressive low to the horizon because it's magnified. It's kind of an optical illusion, but at the same time, it looks bigger than what it does when it's farther up in the sky. But either way, I mean, hopefully you can enjoy that. But the clouds are rolling in, wind is rolling in, rain is rolling in. You get the picture. It's not going to be a picture-perfect weekend by any stretch. Let's take a look at a few tower cam stops, and we've got a lot of blue to show you in the sky. I can tell you that. That's our Zemer funeral home camera on top of Fifth Third Bank. And of course, looking out toward the mighty Ohio River. And now we take a look at uh, the traffic, and it's flowing nicely. Always nice to see that on a cold day. And you can see that if you look off in the distance here, the flag is getting pushed a little bit uh, to the north. And that is our southeast wind that's kicking in. And it's going to be around 5 to 10. Not a big deal, but it is going to add a bit of a chill, especially in open areas like we have right here at 69 and 66, right there on the Warwick and Vandenberg County line. That's our Superior Ag camera, again, Deacon is Gateway. Uh, off in the distance, downtown Evansville, basking in the sun, uh, although basking it's too warm of a word for that, isn't it? All right, in the sun. And we've got our northbound traffic on 41. It is looking good. I love to see northbound traffic moving at this time of day. Just do, for some reason. And as we take a look out toward the east, boy, did we have a beautiful sunrise. And if you didn't catch it this morning, but one of the great things about wintertime is you don't have to stay up late to see a good sunset. You don't have to get up too early to see a good sunrise. I mean, the sunrise, I mean, the one I'm going to show you a picture of was pretty much right around 645. So well, a lot of people are already getting up anyway. But look at that canopy of blue over downtown Owensboro. And you got that crisp, crystal clear blue sky because of that low humidity out and about. I'd say it's low, dew points at 20. 34 degrees right now with that southeast wind at the top of the hour at around 9 miles an hour. So in that 5 to 10 range as we expected it would be. Can't do a temperature run. A little too chilly up in Vincennes and Lagodi. And again, a little bit of snow is the reason for that. They had more snow to the north and to the northwest. But we're starting to see some thawing now in Fairfield. Nice to see that. 32 degrees. 34 in Jasper. 36 in Princeton. A really mid-30s for most all of us. As warm as we've got on the board, it's 37 degrees right now in Madisonville. And as we take a look at our wind speeds here, now we're seeing a few kind of kick up a little bit more into double digits. Henderson, 13 miles an hour at the airport on the west side of town, 12 miles an hour in Flora, and 10 miles an hour right now in Morgan Field. Elsewhere, though, again, in that 5 to 9 range, or for the most part anyway. Wind chill wise we still have some chills to deal with. It feels like 21 in Flora, 20 in Vincennes, 27 here in Evansville. So even though we've thawed out, it doesn't feel like we've thawed out. At least in the open area. Like I said, a lot of places, if it's wind blocked, it feels pretty good, but that sunshine beaming down on you. 27 in Owensboro, 27 is what it feels like right now in Jasper. So, yeah, the chill, yep, we got it. Oh, the great shot right here from our own Sean Shoptaw, a man of many talents. And he got this with his new camera. A lovely shot. I love that because you've got, you know, you can see even the craters on the moon. I mean, nice detail there of the moon. Sean got the silvery moon. Remember the old song, By the Light of the Silvery Moon? <laughs> Didn't every barbershop quartet? <laughs> I mean, that's like the, the ideal barbershop quartet song. <laughs> I love this shot here, too. I'll step aside so you can see it. Tracy Moore got this. The icicles hanging off her gutter. And they almost have that greenish tint to them, like illuminated by some light in her yard or something. And then off in the distance, you can see between the trees, or through the trees, really, uh, the wolf moon. We're calling it the icicle wolf moon. which sound, almost looks like claws right there, too. <laughs> looks a little devious. I love it. Uh, this is one I really love, too. We're calling this a spider web moon. Look at that. That's a tree silhouetted up against the full wolf moon. And what a great shot by Linda Nims. And I love it. You can see the bird's nest right there in one of the branches. 
Cool shot. I mean, I need a better camera so I can take good pictures like that. Thank you, Linda. Thank you all for those great pictures. Live first warning Doppler radar. Nothing shaken. And again, I'm not expecting anything falling today. We had a few clouds this morning made for an exquisite uh, sunrise. And now we've got plenty of sunshine and pretty much straight sunshine for the rest of the day. We'll see a few clouds later on this afternoon, but really more sun than anything. A future track, really not much to show you, but a blank map over the course of the afternoon. As far as significant clouds, but right before sunset, we should be seeing a few clouds out there. Again, sun is setting a little after 5 o'clock Evansville time. It's going to be a little bit later than that, obviously to the west, a little bit earlier than that, to the east. And that cloud cover, just those high clouds, could make for a fantastic sunset out there tonight. And then as we head into evening, of course, you're going to be able to see that full moon rising not long after that. Around 5.30, quarter to 6 will be a good time to really check it out uh, because it's going to be low to the horizon. And then as we head into the overnight hours, here comes plenty of cloud cover. You might catch a peak or two of sunshine tomorrow morning if you're lucky. Most of us won't. And then here comes a little bit of rain, maybe trickling in before midday. The latest run on our future track is indicating that really not a whole lot going on around midday. Earlier runs and other guidance, too, was indicating a pretty decent wave of rain pushing in around midday, then getting a break, and then more rain moving in later in the afternoon. Now it looks like just a little bit of rain early. The better chance for rain is going to come later in the afternoon and also in the evening. You could see the rain coming down at a pretty good clip. I think we're going to hear some rumbles of thunder out there to go along with this. Uh, but at the same time, nothing severe is expected. And as we head into the overnight hours, really look at this, right around midnight, we're still seeing some pretty heavy rain out there. Then as that system works its way through, on the backside, we're still going to get some scattered light rain out there for our Sunday. And here's the rub on Sunday. Both days, the high temperatures could be in the mid-40s. Okay, the mid-40s is going to come late in the day on Saturday, early in the day on Sunday. Then we're going to see the temperatures dropping during the day on Sunday. So as that rain comes in, it's going to get colder and colder. And then on the end of the day, on the end of the system, or the tail end anyway, we should see a few flakes flying on Sunday night. So, and who knows? Maybe some minor accumulations. We'll have to wait and see. Right now, it looks like it's not going to be a whole lot. Rainfall-wise, it will be a whole lot. Anywhere from about a half an inch to an inch is what I'm expecting across the board. We're all getting a good soaking, especially Saturday night. High today, right around 40 degrees. I'm going to call it 40 here in Evansville with a mix of sun and clouds, but a whole lot more sunshine than clouds out there. But if you high clouds at the end of the day, which could make for a great sunset. East, southeast wind at around 5 to 10, so not pushing too hard on us. And as we take a look at the temperatures again, mid 40s tomorrow and also on Sunday, again, that's going to be early on Sunday. <laughs> Good chance for rain, I reckon. 100% uh, shot of getting that rain tomorrow. And then you can see the wind we're going to have along with that too. So it's not going to be a good power walking day for Angie. Now, next week, though, we are going to see some sunshine on Tuesday and 41. We're going to warm back up after a cold Monday with a few flurries out there first thing in the morning, by the way. We're going to warm up to around 50 degrees by Thursday, Angie. So how about them apples? I like like and then nothing bitter cold, as low as we're going to get is 25 degrees on Tuesday morning. And check this out. Poof! This was an oh, absolutely gorgeous sunrise this morning. That is from our downtown camera on top of Fifth Third Bank, our Zimmer Funeral Home camera. I love it because it's gold along the horizon, gold and orange, and even like a deep orange. It's yeah, really like gorgeous orange. on the side, yes. And if you look up, you can see the pinkness of the clouds up aloft. I mean, it's just a really great looking shot. Of course, it helps to be on top of Fifth Third Bank, our camera. So we're seeing up over a lot of obstacles that a lot of people can't see, I know. So that's why it's kind of nice to be able to view it from that high up. I have something to thank you for. What's that? Because from now on, the rest of the day, I'm going to be singing it. By the light <laughs> of the, the silvery moon. Of the silvery moon. I want to prune. We'll be back with lifestyle. Good money I'll prune. Two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> <laughs>